celebration place and the landing. And then thirdly, we're supposed to be ministering to a dying world. We live in a world that is without God. Paul reminds us what we were. He describes the condition of those in the world by reminding us of what we were. Ephesians 2.12, he says, remember at that time, you. How many remember before you were saved? Oh, my, my, my. You were separate from Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel, and foreigners to the covenant of the promise, without hope and without God in the world. You, you know, and there might be some of you who think, well, you know, man, evangelism, that, that, that's, that's not my ministry, you know. You can't help but, you can't help but share your faith. It, this is not an either-or thing. Yes, we've got to give God preeminence. The family of God is important, but we can't say, well, I'm going to do the first two and not do the, sec not do the third, because let me tell you something. If you are in the world, you're a witness in the world. Am I right? Amen. When you, you are either a good witness or a bad witness. Uh, and I'm preaching the truth. A minute ago, y'all were shouting. Now it's getting a little bit quiet in here. But you're a witness. Amen. If you've got a presence on Facebook or Twitter, you're a witness. Come on. Amen. Let your light so shine before men that they glorify God. Amen. We use it to witness. Amen. You say, well, I got struggles. That's okay. Ask, ask for prayer. That's all right. Amen. But just be cautious about what goes up there. A Peanuts cartoon showed Peppermint Patty talking to Charlie Brown. She says, guess what, Chuck? The first day of school and I got sent to the principal's office. It's all your fault, Chuck. My fault? How could it be my fault? Why do you say everything is my fault? She said, you're my friend, aren't you, Chuck? You should have been a better influence on me. <laughs> now, we know Peppermint Patty. She's just trying to pass the buck. But there's a little bit of truth in there. Come on, we, we influence others for good or for bad. That's why Matthew 5, 16 says, In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Hallelujah. President Woodrow Wilson told this story in his memoirs. He said, I was in a very common place. I was sitting in a barber chair when I became aware that a personality had entered the room. A man came, had come quietly in upon the same errand as myself to have his hair cut. And he sat in the chair next to me. Every word the man uttered showed a personal interest in the man who was serving him. And before I got through with what was being done for me, I was aware that I had attended an evangelistic service because Mr. D.L. Moody was in that chair. By the way, D.L. Moody was a great evangelist of that day. How interesting that this man didn't just preach to the crowds of thousands, but when he was in the barber chair, he used that opportunity to share his faith. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter where you are, who you are with. You are a light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. You are the salt of the earth. And the question becomes, what message do you leave with the world when you pass through it? Let me just touch on these real quick, and we're going to end here today. First of all, we've got to live credible lives so that others can see the distinct difference that Christ makes in us. Come on. We've got to be faithful to tell others about Jesus the Savior. When God opens the door, we've got to speak up. We must look for opportunities to share our faith and do so with boldness and assurance. We've got to give generously so others can go to the fields of the world. Come on, missions. We've got to pray earnestly for those who are on the field and, the, and, the, for, and for others and for others trying to get there. We've got to pray that God would make them effective in reaching people with the gospel. And we must encourage one another to be the best Christians that we can be. We are ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Would you stand with me today?